Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I got another jeans and boots video for you today. I have the Ariat M2 Relaxed Fit Boot Cut Jean and I'm gonna try it out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes so you can see if this jean is right for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right guys, so I have the Ariat M2 Relaxed Fit Jean, and I was recently wondering like, what does the M and the number stand for? So I emailed Ariat and was like, bro, what's with the M2s? What does it even mean? They were like, well, it just means men's and then the number that the fit is. So the M is men, two is for their relaxed fit, and then within that they have different sorts of cuts. So you have a boot cut, relaxed fit, and then the same goes for all the others. Like the M1 is the vintage, the M7 is a, more of a slim. So that's what the letter and number system means for Ariat if you were curious. So we have the Ariat M2 today, and we gotta start things off with the rundown. Yes, this is Ariat's M2 relaxed legacy boot cut jean in the granite color, as I said. It is a relaxed fit boot cut and the fit is described as relaxed through the waist, hip and thigh, and it sits lower on the waist. This one here is 100% cotton and that is a 12 ounce denim. It also comes in stackable sizes so you could get this in really long sizes. I chose the 32-34. It is my true regular size so I did not get a stackable size for this and you can see a reason why in a recent video that I did uh, about stacking or not stacking. You can watch that above or at the links in the description. It also has a zip closure. This jean is made in Mexico and it's coming in at $60 at Ariat.com. Now it's time to try on this jean with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. Let's kick things off with an Ariat Heritage Roper. This has a heel just over one inch tall and the top is 10 inches tall. The relaxed fit jean is doing a good job covering up these boots. Now I'm not stacking here and I think it's fine. The jeans are long enough to cover up the whole boot. We're keeping things going with a Uto cowboy boot. This is the Hondo 7875 with a one and a half inch heel and a 13 inch top. Now these jeans are not as relaxed as other relaxed jeans around the thighs. It's a little bit more fitting and I kind of like it. For an Arto, we're looking at a Boulet 1505 pieced ostrich boot with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. This is the first exotic that we're looking at today and it's not a bad look. Relaxed fits don't always look the best with exotic dress type boots in my opinion. And while I probably wouldn't do this very often, it still looks okay. All right, here's a JTO on this BNV boot with a one and five eighths inch heel and a 13 inch tall top. Now, J toes and snip toes, relaxed fits really don't work the best, but this isn't the worst example I've seen. It's sort of like the exotic example we saw earlier. Not the best, but okay. Speaking of exotics, here's a snip toe from Yeehaw Cowboy with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. See, the thing that I have against relaxed fit jeans and these dress boots is that they don't showcase the great quality of exotics, but who the hell cares if you just wanted to wear exotic boots? For the narrow square toe example, we have a Fanolio boot with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. This is the type of boot that if you wanted to stack jeans like this, I think you could, but it looks fine either way. Here's another exotic, the Boulet 8502. Came in belly with a one and a half inch heel and a 12 inch top. It's fine, but again, it really doesn't make the boot look as good as it could. So it's not doing anything special here. And finally, as a wide square toe, here's a Twisted X Tech X boot with a one inch heel and 11 inch top. This is sort of more what the relaxed fit is made for in my opinion. Just a real casual, comfortable sort of look that you're already going for when you wear wide square toe boots. All right guys, so I wore these jeans in a recent review video for the Wolverine Boulevard Ropers 
while working at a vineyard and they were very comfortable all day. I think this is a proper relaxed fit jean, you know? Uh, sometimes relaxed fit jeans can get way too relaxed and the cinch white label is the perfect example of a really relaxed, relaxed fit. This one is more like a Carhartt relaxed fit, except it's a little bit more fitting around the thighs. Uh, not much though, it reminds me so much of the Carhartt relaxed fit, except it has just a little bit wider leg opening. One thing I really don't like about this is the whiskering they did on the front. It just doesn't look as good as other distressed whiskering I've seen. It looks really wavy and sort of hastily done, but it's not a huge deal for me since most of the time I'm gonna be wearing relaxed fit jeans while I'm working. Overall, I like the fit of this M2 for a relaxed fit jean. I like the feel and the weight of it while working. The whiskering here is a bit garbage, but I don't really think it was necessary to distress these at all since they make for a good work jean and who really cares if it's distressed because they're gonna get distressed in their own way eventually. Still, with each jean that I try from Ariat, I become a little bit more of a fan because I like the fit of them. The M7 is still my favorite fit. It was my favorite fit last year and I tried the M1 this year and now the M2 and both of them are pretty nice. Still not as good as that M7 rocker that I tried, but I still enjoy wearing them. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Peace. Oh, don't get uptight. We can seek out the facts. We can make this right, but I work best when I am relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you check out this other video up here about some Harriet jeans? Or I got a music video down here. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.